Science has proven that things evolve. Creationists don't dispute this fact. In fact, those that believe in the flood myth rely on this fact to give them the countless species we know exist in the world today. So basically, what they're saying is that small changes over short periods of time are possible, but not large changes over longer periods of time. Well, that makes a lot of sense. Or not. Creationists posit a limit to evolution, forming a distinction between micro and macro evolution. And they say that no creature can ever evolve into a creature of another kind. At the same time, the variation between species must, according to creationists, have been present from the very moment of creation, because they say that no mutation can ever be beneficial or add information to the genome. Well, if you want to posit that there is a distinct limit to evolution, then where's your evidence? Any kind of empirical data that points to this conclusion? No? Well, what a surprise. As an additional little tidbit, young Earth creationists in particular believe that the global flood happened about four and a half thousand years ago, and that all life on the planet died except for those animals and humans that were on the ark. Creationists give the number of kinds that could fit on the ark as somewhere between 2,000 and 20,000. This is not unreasonable, all things considered, although the 20,000 figure sounds a little steep. But even taking that figure instead of, say, a more reasonable 10,000, we still end up with a figure saying that these 20,000 kinds gave rise to a million species in, at the most, 4,500 years. Now that makes at least two speciation events per week for the last 4,500 years. Based on current rates of speciation in nature, this is approximately 500 times the speed at which such events really occur. So, if creationists want to posit this, the burden of proof is on them. Even disproving evolution is insufficient. They must supply evidence that such accelerated speciation has taken place and explain, with evidence, why speciation cannot occur outside of certain limits, and why these events do not occur at this accelerated rate today. Until such a time as that proof, or at least evidence, is presented to the scientific community, creationism will remain a myth, nothing more.